Firstly, I got a cow skull because I thought it was quite similar to a deer skull. So I thought I could fool people into thinking it was a deer. And secondly, I bought the wrong size resin skull. It's way too small for the wood plaque that I got. So if you decide to buy the bigger cow skull, you could probably skip this part. And since the skull was too small, I had to scale it to be about 1.5 times bigger than the original. I didn't want it to be too big in case the base can't support the clay. And it's really important to have reference material next to you while you're working. If you decide to sculpt clay on top of the resin skull, make sure to keep the back flat so you could hang it onto the plaque later on. I put plastic wrap on top of the paper template, but you could sculpt on top of the paper if you want. You can also wear latex gloves if you don't want to get your hands dirty, but I had to take them off within 15 minutes because they were becoming a hindrance. You start off by shaping the clay by using the template before you start with the details. I didn't have any sculpting tools, but I did use a nail dotting tool and my exacto knife for detailing. Use water to smooth out the surface, but do not use too much as I will show you why in a little bit. For the nose, stick your finger into the gap as a leverage and sculpt on top of your finger as if it's a bridge. If you decide to take a break, use a damp towel and place it over your work to prevent it from drying.
After you're done with the basic shape and detail, use the dotting tool or a toothpick to etch out the grooves into the clay. The reason I said before not to use too much water is because it will thin out the clay dust causing it to crack while it's drying. So instead of putting more clay on top, the better option will be to seal the sculpt with paper mache to prevent further cracking. I'm using wallpaper paste and shredded toilet paper. If you don't have wallpaper paste, you can always boil flour and water until you have the desired consistency. You definitely need to wear latex gloves while doing this.